Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Daryl Voss, your jazz show host. <laughs> Tonight we have a special uh, treat here at the Blue Universe Recording Studio. Uh, this is the second of um, hopefully a long series of concerts that are here at the Blue Universe. Uh, Jim Conroy and Ed Richards are going to put on a wonderful show regarding the CD they recorded right in this room. Uh, and one thing that Jim does very unique is to his audience is he actually plays the whole CD all the way through as it is. So what you have in your hands, you're about to hear live. So without wow. further ado, I'd like to introduce Mr. Ed Richards on the piano. <laughs> And the one and only, Mr. Jim Conroy. Wow. I never cared much for moonlit skies. Never winked back at fireflies. Now that the stars are in your eyes, I'm beginning to see the light. I never went in for afterglow. Candlelight on the mistletoe. Now when you turn the lamp down low, I'm beginning to see the light. Used to ramble through the park. Shadow boxing in the dark. Then you came, you caused a spark. It's a four alarm fire now. I never made love by land and shine. Never saw rainbows in my wine. Now that your lips are burning mine, I'm beginning to see the light. that um, my friend, my mi compadre Ed, uh, accompanies himself vocally <laughs> when he's playing his solos. So you can kind of hear him. You know, and I, I, kn I knew that about Ed, you know. I knew he did that. A lot of musicians do that. And, uh, but when we got into the studio to uh, record the album, uh, when it's just piano and voice, you know, and there was this kind of like little humming going on back in the background. I'm going, hmm, how do I diplomatically handle this? And, and I approached him tenderly and I said, uh, you know, Ed, you might want to think about maybe not singing along on your solos on this recording. And he goes, 
Well, Oscar Peterson does it. <laughs> so I didn't have an answer to that. So on your CDs, you have Ed kind of merrily moaning along with the solos. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of Your Jazz Show. Tonight I'm at the Blue Universe studio in San Luis Obispo, and we just had a great concert with Jim Conroy and Ed Richards on piano. Jim Conroy is a Cambrian that uh, has had a long career of music, and he's here to talk about his music and how you may be able to hear him as well as uh, see him. Certainly going to see him today on the show. However, 
Uh, he has a lot of interesting ideas as well as great melodies to sing for you. And without further ado, Mr. Jim Conroy. Thanks for coming on. Thank you, Daryl. Um, today's show was fantastic. Well. I love the uh, interaction of just piano and vocal. I mean, that is so exposed. And uh, I'm sure that, uh, like you said before, that that has been done before. Um, you may explain to uh, the folks out there listening, you know, why just piano and vocal? Well, uh, I was looking for something a little different. Uh, the last two CDs I made were with the, like a quartet, and you were on both of them. Oh, that's right. And uh, I was just looking for something a little different, a little challenging, and I had been listening to that uh, CD by Tony Bennett and Bill Evans from mm. the 70s. And I thought, hmm, I'd like to try something like that. And uh, of course, I thought of Ed, who um, has been my pianist for about five or six years now, and I went to him with the project, and he said, sure. And so uh, we went and did it. I, I was looking for something mm, intimate, you know, mm -hmm. uh, more soft, not so uh, mm, uh, bass, bass and drums, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> not, so, not, not so regimented, huh? <laughs> I, I, uh, just, just something just more intimate. That's yeah. what I was looking for, you know. Well, you know, you guys are so flexible listening to each other. Uh, you know, he'll come in and the phrasing could be, instead of, say, four beats a phrase, it might be seven or a nine or something, you know. So that flexibility only comes with years of experience and being able to uh, be a good musician, such as yourself and Ed, you know. A lot of listening, too. You have to be constantly listening to each other and uh, be, be ready for where the other person is going to go at any, at any moment. Um, hmm. uh, Ed might take me someplace that I've, some new blue universe that I've never <laughs> been to before. And, you know, sometimes we get there together, sometimes we don't, but it's an adventure. Well, uh, it's a pleasure listening to two masters in their field, so to speak. Uh, one thing that struck me was when I first started playing music with you, um, gosh, back in the early 90s, I think, mm -hmm. uh, mostly R&B and yeah. rock and roll. So has the, the change, I know that noticed that your last three CDs have been pretty much jazz oriented. Mm -hmm. uh, groups, small groups, and then of course the uh, Johnny Hartman tribute album. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, so these are all things that have accumulated over say the last 15 years, but explain to the people, uh, uh, the listeners about, you know, your background in a nutshell. I know you could go on for hours about this, but what is it that brought you to the jazz as opposed to say the surf music when you were playing in the 60s? Uh -huh. Well, it's just a different challenge. It's uh, obviously more sophisticated kind of music. Uh, the, um, it, it's the full harmonic palette, you know. Where, and when you're playing rock and roll and R&B, it's you know mostly the, like the pentatonic scale. Mm -hmm. But when you're when you're into jazz, it's the full spectrum, you know. Uh, it's 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 twelve tone, and um, uh, I love the the melodies of the jazz ballads. And it's uh, it's just more a little more difficult, a little more challenging music, and uh, I was just looking for something different. Yeah, and I've been I've been messing with uh, uh, jazz singing since the mid '70s, but it wasn't until mm, the past ten years that I sort of came out of the closet, you might say. Sure. And uh, took the giant leap forward to to the stage. And of course, those gigs at the Peter Plow uh, Playhouse up in Cambria uh, were just great. And you know, we all had a little bit of taste of that, and, and the combos, and bringing in vocalists, and mm -hmm. Jay Graydon, and whoever right, else. You know, right. I mean, it, it was really a. And Red Holloway ended up showing up, and right. so just a, a great opportunity to, you know, get your chops up. Right. And now that you got them. Um, we should tell people where they can get your CDs. <laughs> oh, my CDs, okay. Uh, the CDs, uh, they're at Boo Boo's here in San Luis Obispo. 